Oh, good morning. Apologize, my stand just broke, so I've got to hold the camera. Well, our devotion this morning is from Hebrews 11.1. 1. It's entitled, Trusting God. It says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. The American Heritage Dictionary as belief that does not rest in logical proof or material evidence. Not real fond of that definition. It says, but neither is Dr. Jeremiah. He says, is Christianity, Christianity illogical or is there material evidence for our faith? We didn't see Jesus' empty tomb, but his disciples did. And more than 500 other, others saw the risen Lord, 1 Corinthians 15, 6. So there is material evidence on which to base our faith. But if we're honest, we have to admit that the Christian life is a walk based on what is unseen rather than seen. So how do we strengthen our faith? We do so by reading and taking to heart the promises of God, the same God who performed and provided for eyewitnesses in the past has promised to perform and provide for us. His exceedingly great and precious promises are the basis of our partaking in his divine nature, 2 Peter 1, 4. Faith in promises not based on evidence is truly blind faith. Faith in promises based on evidence is biblical faith. Maintain your familiarity with God's promises to strengthen your faith and prepare for life's next challenge. F.B. Meyer said, you never test the resources of God until you attempt the impossible. The reality is, is that our faith is based on evidence that we have seen from eyewitnesses that saw Jesus, from evidence throughout our lives and evidence that we've seen that take place through history. Now, is there some aspect of our faith that, that is on things that are unseen? Absolutely. That's what makes it faith. But we need to understand that it's not blind faith. It is faith that is based on what we have seen and what has been built upon 2,000 years or 5,000 years if you go back even farther into Old Testament history. But it's based on, on evidence that is built on what has been built up over centuries of history of time. And so we trust what has been built upon the eyewitness accounts of others and on what has been built on the evidence of our own lives and the evidence of lives of others. So it's, it's not blind faith, but is there a faith element in that there are certain things about it that we don't see? Yes. Do we see physically see God? No, but we see him in things around us and things that we see happen and things that we see him do. Yes. And so we need to trust God. We trust him in what we do. We trust him in what we see, see take place in our lives. And so we need to continue to have that trust in everything that we do. So never give up your trust. Never give up your faith. Keep that faith going. And even though there may be times that our faith seems blind, it's not really because we're trusting in what has been founded through history and through time and through evidence that has been built upon the promises of God that he has never broken and never will. All right? Let's never give up our faith. I, I might or might not have a devotion tomorrow. It depends on what takes place over this day. I have a procedure. Tomorrow I have to be at the hospital at six o'clock in the morning for a procedure. It's nothing major. It's just a routine, I'm 50 years old kind of checkup thing. So, uh, but I have a procedure tomorrow and I have to be there at six o'clock in the morning. So it depends on what, what takes place. I may record it early, I may not. It depends on what happens today. But um, just know there may or may not be a devotion in the morning. So just uh, be aware of that. And uh, if I see you tomorrow, I'll see you. If I don't, I won't. So just uh, be aware of that, okay? Let's have a word of prayer as we close out this devotion. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you for all that you've given us. We pray that you'd be with us today. We pray that you would uh, just be with all that we do. May we continue to place our faith in you, continue to trust you in all things. Father, we just, just lift you up and we... I lift up our loved ones and lift up uh, the faith that we have in you. May it never waver. May it never wane. 
And we always trust you in all things. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory for all things. As in the precious holy name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. We look forward to seeing you. If we don't see you tomorrow, we'll see you on Sunday. But we look forward to seeing you later. Have a great day.